Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you another way to display scenario in your financial model. So this is the model that I did in my previous video. This is the original model. And uh, this is the financial model. We're not going to do anything on the model because this is working properly. But we will apply minor changes on this uh, scenarios here. So the first change is to replace the formulas here instead of if offset. I'm going to use choose function for that. And then for the inputs here, uh, you need to complete all the inputs for every scenario uh, on that case, on that uh, option. So uh, to do that, to see that, I'm going to move or copy this uh, model here into another sheet. And I'm going to work with it. So the first thing that I will do is to format this portion. I'm going to make it as a input uh, assumptions with... Uh, different font color in this case so the user will know that they need to adjust all of it now i'm going to fill in all the assumptions here for the base case for those blanks here for every scenario so i'm going to complete that here this is the first change also this part also this part so it's now complete for every scenario then the second part is uh, to replace the formula here. I'm going to use choose function for that, writing the choose function. And then the index number will be the chosen option of the user. Then comma, value one will be uh, whatever the value of the base case here, comma, it's the second case here, comma, third, comma, fourth, comma, fifth. And that's it. I'm going to close it and then just lock the index number here and then enter. And then copy and paste it to all of your assumption, and that's it. It's now working. So let me uh, just freeze paint this part so you can see properly the checking. So here I'm going to choose scenario one, the base case. This is the NPV, NPV, NPV. This is working. Same with two, NPV, NPV. Like uh, five, it's the same, NPV, NPV. Now, you can also add scenario here, like uh, I will insert another scenario, I will call it 6. Then this time, uh, I'm going to copy and paste the base case here as the first step. And then, um, I will say that this option will be a lower revenue, like 80, and then cost is like uh, 20. And I'm going to change this part, but all the rest here remains the same as the base case. Then uh, I'm going to update my data table here to include uh, scenario 6, go to data, and then what if analysis, data table, then row in input will be the same, the option, and then OK. This is a value because you need to adjust also the formula. I'm going to make some comma here and then uh, include uh, the assumption for option 6. Then enter, copy and paste it again. And that's it. It's now working for scenario 6. Let me choose that. And that's it. It has the same result for the current scenario, scenario 6, and NPV. I will go back to the original model because you can also add another assumption to that, like scenario 6. And I'm going to copy the scenario here. Like, uh, this is uh, a lower revenue. And this is 6. And then, uh, actually, that's it. Just update the model, the data table here. Same uh, option, row input cell, OK. That's it. Then, uh, input the right assumption for option 6, and it will be updated. As you can see here, it has the same result. Um, let me show you that. 72, 72, 72, and that's it. So as you can see, it has advantages and disadvantages. In this case, uh, you use uh, this a little complicated formula, but in the inputs, you just need to input the changes that you want in your assumption. Now in this uh, model, uh, you use a simple formula, but you need to adjust it every time you need to add another scenario and you also need to complete all the assumptions but the presentation here is more informative for example you have a reader of financial your financial model he or she will be informed of your complete assumptions so 
that's it. Uh, you can choose either of the two ways of presenting your scenario. And that's it. I'm finished here. I'm done. If you're liking my videos, you can subscribe to my channel. And see you next time. And thanks.